Hello and welcome to File Types Explained. My name is Nick and today we're going to talk about the different types of text documents. An important thing to understand is that every file on your computer has what is called a file type. These types allow our files to do different things or be opened with different programs. Most times a file's type is found on the very end of the file's name with a period followed by an abbreviation for the file's type. When the file's type is not displayed, it can be often found where there are more details about the document. Now getting into the video's topic, we are going to go through several popular types of text documents. A text document is mainly for displaying text or writing text in a way that is professional and easy to read. While there are tons of different types of text files, we're going to be focusing on these four due to their high popularity. To kick off, let's talk about TXT documents. A TXT or plain text document is a very basic type of text document that can be opened by nearly any computer without issues. A TXT file is great for personal documents like journals, to-do lists, personal messages, and other private uses. Unfortunately, TXT files can't uh, can't hold special formatting like bolding, italics, or even changing the size of the text. This fact is what makes it a poor choice for writing professional documents. Two programs that are great for writing TXT files are Microsoft Notepad and Apple Text Edit. Next on our list are RTF files. Also known as rich text format, RTFs are an older format originally created by Microsoft. These documents are great for writing documents that don't rely on graphics other than photos. RTFs can hold basic text formatting, meaning they can resize, bold, italicize, and color the text inside the document. While most programs can open these files, two popular programs that use the RTF format are WordPad and Apple Text Edit. Now let's jump into the doc and docx formats. These files are native to Microsoft Word and work best with that program only. Docs are great for writing any sort of document between colorful resumes, quarterly reports, or even personal letters. A doc can house all sorts of different types of formatting, things like basic text formatting, tables, charts, and other graphics that are supported by Word all work great inside of doc or docx files. However, opening and editing these files can only be done with Microsoft Word. That makes these files less desirable when someone is planning on sharing the file digitally with someone. Last on our list, we're going to talk about PDF files. The PDF, also called Portable Document Format, was originally created by Adobe in the 1990s. Now, it has become a universal standard when it comes to sharing documents online due to its easy to open nature. A special thing to note about PDF files is that it's the best to save your files in this format when you are completely finished writing the document. Directly editing PDFs is undesirable due to the fact that special software is sometimes needed to perform the act. However, if you find that you absolutely must directly edit a PDF file, the best program for the job is going to be Adobe Acrobat. The list of programs that support PDF files is massive. So my personal recommendations for using PDFs is as follows. For writing, Google Docs and Microsoft Word both have options where you can export your document as a PDF. For viewing, I recommend using an internet browser like Chrome, Edge, or Microsoft, or sorry, Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox. That's going to cover it for this video. If you have questions, please send them to hello at dospace.org, or you can always reach us in our live chat at dospace.org. Thanks for watching.